Here are some of the luckiest finds ever. Wait until you hear how much whale vomit is worth. Number 11, Action Comics number one. David Gonzalez was busy tearing out insulation in his new garage. However, as he was tearing things apart, he found a rare copy of Action Comics number one. This was the issue where Superman was introduced to the world. He had paid only $10,000 for the house itself. The comic book was worth at least 15 times what he paid for the house. Although he wasn't exactly a comic book fan, Gonzalez felt it was valuable. So he tracked down a collectibles trader in Tampa Bay to have the issue appraised. But before he was able to get it appraised, his wife's aunt kept touching the comic book and damaged it. So the issue got downgraded in condition from a potential three to a one and a half on a 10 point scale. But even in that condition, it was still worth a lot of money. Around 100 copies of Action Comics number one are thought to exist, but relatively few are in good condition. A near mint copy owned by Nicolas Cage sold at auction in 2011 for a record $2.16 million. So how much did Gonzalez's copy end up selling for? $175,000. It probably would have been more if the pesky ant didn't keep on touching it. Do us a quick favor and hit that like button down there. Number 10, Saddle Ridge Horde. An anonymous couple from California was out walking their dog. And all of a sudden, they happened to find a bunch of extremely rare Gold Rush era coins worth around $10 million. The coins are one of the greatest buried treasures ever found in the United States. The couple decided to stay anonymous, which is a smart move. They didn't want a bunch of treasure hunters going on their property in Northern California, so-called gold country. The 1,400 gold pieces were discovered buried in eight decaying metal cans on the couple's land. The coins are from the mid to late 1800s and were in nearly mint condition. The cans were scattered across the property at different depths. This suggested that they weren't all put there at the same time. The $20 gold pieces appeared to have been new when they went into the ground and had suffered little damage from being buried so long. The discovery was named the Saddle Ridge Horde. Who knew they named treasures like they named hurricanes? One of the coins is said to be worth at least a million dollars on its own. Number nine, Spanish treasures. In August 2015, diver William Bartlett had just started exploring a 300-year-old shipwreck with a metal detector. He was in the waters of Florida's Atlantic coast when he found his first Spanish gold coin. Then one coin became two coins, and then two coins became a lot more. When he resurfaced with gloves full of coins, he knew they were into something super special. Over the next two days, he and two more treasure hunters found 350 coins. The treasure is worth more than four and a half million dollars. It was the most valuable find from the 1715 shipwreck site over the past few decades. Here's a little bit of background about the site. Back in July of 1715, 11 ships filled with treasure were heading back to Spain from Havana, Cuba. However, they never made it. That's because they encountered a hurricane off Florida's central coast. The winds and waves smashed the ships onto the reefs. The shipwreck supposedly took as many as 1,000 lives. It was one of colonial Spain's biggest naval disasters. And that's why the shipwreck site is popular with treasure hunters. 11 ships full of gold went down. In June of the same year, a family of treasure hunters found a million dollars worth of gold coins in the area south of this discovery. There are supposedly still hundreds of millions of dollars worth of coins left undiscovered. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Number eight, the Holy Grail. Another Spanish shipwreck over 300 years old was found in 2018, but this one is a bit more special. That's because it was carrying treasure that's estimated to be worth up to $17 billion. The robot submarine Remus 6000 was used to discover this sunken ship. This robot submarine can dive nearly four miles deep. The reason why it's so valuable is because it can dive really deep and it's loaded with sensors and cameras. The Remus 6000 found the ship almost 2,000 feet below the surface. The presence of bronze cannons engraved with dolphins on the ship confirmed this holy grail of shipwrecks. It's the telltale sign that it's the Spanish ship San Jose which went down in the Caribbean Sea more than 300 years ago. 
British warships sunk the San Jose and its crew of around 600 in 1701. However, for now, all of the treasure still remains underwater, and the exact location of the wreckage is still a secret. And the reason for that? It's because Colombia and Spain both say the treasure belongs to them. Number 7. Caravaggio How many of us have parents who have a lot of junk? One man was just trying to clear out family antiques out of his attic, but he found a painting that's worth over $200 million. The painting is from 1607 by the Italian master Michelangelo Morisi de Caravaggio, titled Judith and Holofernes. It sat for over a hundred years in anonymity in an old house. It leaned against the wall between old clothes, family antiques, and old dishes. The crazy thing is, thieves actually ransacked the farmhouse years ago in the city of Toulouse, France. They stole plenty of things, but they left behind the most valuable thing. The painting is more commonly referred to as the Los Caravaggio. Caravaggio was born in Milan in Italy, 1571, and became one of the most famous painters of his time. The painting was estimated to go for around $170 million. But a private buyer bought it for an undisclosed amount right before it went to auction in June of 2019. Number 6. Whale Regurgitation In Oman, three fishermen managed to catch something that's eh, pretty gross. They were able to catch a giant piece of whale vomit? This regurgitation by the whale weighed 176 pounds. And why was this find so awesome? Because it's valued at almost $3 million. Find out more about some of the most valuable animals in the world in our video. So, why does it have such a high price tag? Well, it's because whale vomit, also called ambergris, is actually a highly sought after ingredient in high end fragrances. We go into it a bit more detail in our animals worth a ton of money video. However, as you can probably imagine, it's uh, not that easy to find. While it's called whale vomit or ambergris, there is debate over what the waxy substance should be classified as. Scientists think the substance is secreted in whale's stomachs to help them bind together objects and food they cannot digest. After a whale produces enough ambergris, the ambergris goes out of the whale's mouth or it goes out the other end. So either way, it's pretty gross. Once the whale has passed the ambergris, it floats on the surface of the ocean, and that's why one of its nickname is Floating Gold. Number 5. Duck's Foot In September of 2018, a retired man found a massive gold nugget in Western Australia believed to be worth roughly $80,000. The man, who also did the smart move by staying anonymous, found the nugget while scanning the area with a metal detector. Apparently this guy knew what he was doing. He had been gold hunting for years already. The man said it took him two hours to get the gold nugget out of the ground, and when he finally weighed it, he found that it weighed approximately seven pounds. The gold nugget was deep in the ground. He had to dig through roughly 31 inches of clay soil, and that's a lot of careful digging he had to do, but it obviously paid off in the end. The man named his lucky nugget Duck's Foot because, well, it kind of looks like a duck's foot. Number four. In Kalamu. In October 2018, the company that's the world's largest producer of green stones hit a jackpot. They found a 5,655 carat emerald crystal at its mines in Zambia. The stone weighs almost two and a half pounds. It got the nickname In Kalamu, which means lion in the local Zambian language. The emerald has remarkable clarity and a perfectly balanced golden green hue. Well, that and it's basically the size of a hamburger. Did you know emeralds are actually rarer than diamonds? Believe it or not, this emerald actually is not the largest emerald stone to be found in the company's mines. In 2010, miners found a 6,225 carat emerald. That one was named Insofu, which means the elephant. Number three, Hand of Faith. The Hand of Faith gold nugget is the biggest gold nugget in the world. Well, there is a qualifier on it. It's the largest ever found by metal detector. It weighs almost 60 pounds. It was found by husband and wife Kevin and Bep Hillier way back in 1980 in Victoria, Australia. Kevin and his wife Bep named their find Hand of Faith because of the incredible set of circumstances leading to its discovery. 
Around two weeks before the discovery, Kevin had a dream about finding a gold nugget. His dream was so vivid, he dreamt of the nugget down to its unusual shape. He drew it on a piece of paper and asked a friend to sign it as a witness. Exactly two weeks later, Bep and Kevin were searching for gold when Bep heard Kevin screaming through her metal detector headphones. When she went over to him, he was kneeling on the ground, digging around the tip of the 60-pound gold nugget. They eventually sold it to the Golden Nugget casino chain for over a million dollars where it's still on public display in Louisiana. Number 2. Roman Gold Coins In 2018, hundreds of ancient gold coins were found in the basement of a former theater. This was in the city of Como in northern Italy, near the border of Switzerland. The coins date back to the late Roman imperial times. They were found buried in the dirt spilling out of a two-handled soapstone jar called an amphora. The coins have engravings of various emperors such as Honorius, Valentinian, the third, and Leon the first. The coins are estimated to be from around the 4th century but no later than the 5th century. According to archaeologists on site, the coins are priceless. Experts agree that whoever buried the jar expected to go back for it. They buried it in a way that in case of danger, they could go back and dig it out. The most fascinating part is that the coins were stacked in rolls similar to how banks stack their coins today, which hints that maybe the owner wasn't just a single person. The coins most likely belonged to a public bank. Number 1. The Third Imperial Easter Egg An anonymous man from the Midwest U.S. paid 14000 bucks for a small ornament. He had originally hoped to sell it for scrap parts and make a quick 500 bucks, but he had overestimated how much he thought the scrap parts would bring in, and he was too stubborn to sell the egg at a loss. So, in a fit of desperation, one night, he googled egg and the name engraved on the clock Vacheron Constantin. His search brought up the third imperial Easter egg made by Fabergé for the Russian royal family, and it was worth an estimated $33 million. The egg was Tsar Alexander III's 1887 Easter gift to his wife. However, the egg was later bought by a private collector for an undisclosed amount. Watch this next video to find out about the most expensive materials on Earth.